Hello everybody. So today I would like to point out the main differences between the Dominator HD Googles and the RCV922 base headset, all from my own perspective. As you know, both Googles are manufactured by Fatshark. The reason I'm doing this is to make others' decision to buy the new Dominator HDs easier than it was for me. It was really a hard decision whether to buy them or not. I'm very satisfied with my own Googles, but I wanted to have a better resolution to be able to avoid thin trenches and such while flying low with my quadcopters. However, I wasn't sure whether, whether it's worth to get the HDs, as many guides on uh, different forums said a lot of bad things about them and uh, suggested to buy the Dominator V2s. Of course the V2s have still lower resolution, so it was a uh, no-go for me. Uh, many people use the older Dominators or Predators, but not so many of us still use the older models like the RCV922 Base or Aviator and uh, these models are uh, really old, so uh, there will be less and less information about them in the future. Now that I own both Googles, it's really easy to compare them and uh, I hope that this information can help some other guys who are planning to exchange their old RCVs uh, for the new Dominators, but I'm not sure whether it's worth at all. Um, now I will highlight only the key features where there is a difference, so this comparison may not be complete. Uh, let's see the RCV922 base Googles first. So, uh, field the view, it's uh, 46 degrees, resolution uh, 640 times uh, 480s, interpupillary distance between uh, 60 and 70 millimeters, uh, power supply uh, with uh, two cell, three cell batteries, uh, and uh, current consumption is uh, about 170 milliamperes. Uh, the measure weight is, uh, this is my own measurement, it's uh, 124 gram with uh, laser BGC 1.3 gigs receiver module. Now the DOM HDs, uh, field of view is uh, uh, 45 degrees, at least rated by the manufacturer. Um, I would say it's uh, rather less, a bit, I don't know how much, but maybe a bit less. The resolution is uh, 800 times 600. Uh, Interpupillary distance is uh, between uh, 57 and uh, 73 millimeters, at least by the manufacturer. Uh, power supply is the same as with the old Googles, so two cell, three cell batteries, and uh, the current uh, consumption is uh, about uh, 230 milliamperes. The measure weight, again with my own. Uh, measurement is uh, 203 grams with uh, the laser BGC receiver module again. Uh, and now the extra features, the inbuilt DVR and uh, that the receiver modules are exchangeable. So uh, the field of view is nearly the same with both, both Googles, there is not much difference. The resolution difference is uh, however clearly visible, at least for me. The picture is uh, immersed and all corners are sharp, assuming that the Googles are in a good position. For me that means to move the Google strap a bit higher, so there is not much pressure on the rubber eye caps and my eyes get a bit far farther from the optics. Of course, if the Googles are not in the desired position on my face, the corners and the whole image is distorted, or maybe distorted. It usually happens when the optics is too close to the eyes. The best would be to have a kind of holder that creates a little bit of distance from the face. I have seen some uh, 3D printed holders on RC groups already, so uh, one can check there. Uh, I could easily set the IPD, that's comfortable for me, and uh, from the slider's position I judge that my eyes has the IPD around 65 millimeters or such. I have to say that uh, while I've always had problem to set a correct IPD on my old Googles, it was uh, really easy to do the same with the new Dominators. The new Googles also hold the sliders position, not as my old Googles, where they were always moving. I'm using diopter inserts and those fits easily in their place. 
the rubber eye caps are soft enough to allow them in. The new goggles are not much heavier than the, than the old ones, so they are still comfortable to wear, at least for me. And the best thing to the end, it's a very handy thing to have uh, an inbuilt DVR. The quality of the recorded image is absolutely satisfying for playback or search purposes, I guess. The interchangeable module option is a big deal for me. I'm using the laser BGC's 1.3 gigs receiver modules. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, noticed any problems yet, nor with the picture color or quality, uh, neither with range issues. The same applies when using the inbuilt DVR. To get it summarized, for now I'm very satisfied with the new Googles. Changing them for my old RCV922s is a big step ahead and uh, it was definitely worth to buy them. The only con I would mention is that the rubber eye caps allow the eyes and face to close to the optics and uh, then the image can get distorted. For now, to avoid that, uh, I'm lifting the strap on my head and uh, for the future I will search uh, for some 3D printed holders that helps to keep the distance. So, that's all for now. Thanks for your attention. Bye.